so here is my new Wonder Veg Slicer. I have actually used a very similar device from another company. This one's a little more compact though. I think it's going to fit better in the small space I have to work with, plus my older machine. I ended up actually breaking off some of these little tines that you see here. I was trying to do some hard vegetables. These tines are definitely more substantial than the one that came in my other machine. So when it comes to carrots or parsnips or anything hard, I don't think I'll have to worry about it. Um, so first off, this thing is super easy to change out. You have three types of blades. You have your straight blade. You have the small one with a little grater on it. And it is easy. I'm just clumsy with one hand. Okay, so this is one I actually use the most. Um, this is make some amazing noodles, french fries, all sorts of goodies. And this one here is a bit larger. So that's your other one. Very easy to clean. You just take it apart. The entire thing will actually fit in the top of your dishwasher. You can pull this out here too as well. When you go to use it, there's suction cup feet that you push down. You put your favorite blade in. It's a little handle here that you fold out. And that is what you will use to push and spin. So in a couple of moments, we'll go ahead and play with some vegetables. Okay, so we've got those cucumbers. I am not a fan of the peel, so I took mine off. And we've already started. This is on the smallest grate. All right now I'm using an English cucumber. Sometimes I've read some reviews where people don't like the machine because they say the cucumber kind of gets squishy and shreds as opposed to making noodles. And I find that's the case with the regular cucumber. Um, but when you use the English, the center is more compact with less seeds. And it tends to stick together a little better. Although I use the regular cucumbers all the time, it just can get a little bit messier and we'll play with that in a little bit. So let's see, normally I would be using both hands. I would crank with one hand and I would use the other hand to guide. So let's see what happens when we try to do this just one-handed. You do need to apply some pressure and let it push it through. And you can see that coming right now. Now, this is not a very big cucumber, but it looks like most of our noodles are going to be pretty solid. This is actually the core. There's a centerpiece where the core comes out. And when this is done, what I'm actually probably going to do is use a knife or some shears and cut them into slightly shorter noodles so that they're easier for eating. So, let's just take a quick peek at this. So, there you go. Now, I have become totally addicted to a cold, like, Asian-style salad. Throw some um, radishes, get those guys going on here, or whatever crispy vegetables you have, some carrots. And then um, sesame oil, a little ginger, a little garlic, if you like tamari, or even a splash of balsamic vinegar. Um, you know, maybe a little, few nuts or tahini, whatever you're into. Mix it all together, holds up great. The one thing I do tend to do is after you do the cucumber in particular, it tends to be a bit wet. I'll actually take all that out, spread it out on a clean towel, roll the towel up, squeeze it a little, little bit, maybe set it aside. Or if I have a lot, I will put it in a big colander and just let it sit for a little bit before I squeeze it out. Uh, it just keeps it from getting too soggy. The first time I made this ahead of time, when you make it on the spot, you don't really notice, but I made a big batch of it, put it in the fridge. Mm, about three hours later, it was a little wet and soggy on the bottom, but still tasty. So just give it a quick ring in the towel first. But that is your small grate. And like I said, this is actually my personal favorite. So let's... Uh, finish this guy out and we'll put the big grate on. I have changed out for the larger grater and if you're curious this is the mess we got left behind the small one really not much at all easy to clean. I can use the brush that comes with it it's like a little bottle brush um, I actually have like a little dishwashing brush that I use as well so I cut this a little smaller because I wanted enough to um, do three of them to make sure our suction cups are not popping up sometimes they do count. And sorry for the crazy camera work. So here is our giant noodle. You're getting the idea. And there you go. And if you're curious, there's a little difference. There's the small noodle versus the bigger noodle. All right, here's our last piece of English cucumber. And I have swapped it out for the blade setting that doesn't have a grate on it. Here's the noodle we're getting out of that one. 
very simple and easy. This one is great for onions, peppers, um, really good for potatoes as well. All right, so the same cucumber. The middle tends to make a bit of a hot mess, um, a cold mess. Let's see, sometimes if you get one with a fairly firm center, it'll still come out in the shaft, but this one has those wet seeds and it's just kind of falling apart here. So dump them in. It's just a lot more liquidy with like almost a pulp. I'm not a fan of this part. What I'll often do when I'm having both hands, I will crank with one hand and try to catch the center pulp with the other, or just pick it out at the end. Or if you don't care and you like the seeds and, and don't mind, hey, go for it, whatever. So it tastes just as good. You're just not gonna get that long noodle with this kind of uh, cucumber here. But again, with your English cucumber, with anything that doesn't have a loose center, you'll get great noodles out of it. And uh, I guess that's it.